Witches that dark hey, in the wind. <laughs> the one with the white <laughs> <wide laughs> yeah. How much is that dark? Hello, we've got uh, Mike Rogers in today. Hello. And uh, we've been working together really with the uh, dogs for, for a long time, Mike. That's the understatement. Would 13 you years, something like that. A like? long time. Yeah. I think the first um, piece Mike sculpted alongside myself was when... Uh, was a surgeon. I, yeah, he was a surgeon, was it? Yeah, he was a surgeon. Yeah. And the Tommy. Staffy yeah, Tommy. Yeah. And uh, at the same sort of time I was doing the uh, Bulldog Nelson. Nelson. So how long goes that? 10 years. 10 must years. Be 11 years. And we used to like do that. lots of uh, night shifts on with uh, pork scratching and stuff like that. <laughs> used to survive. Anyway, the, 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 what we're working on now is we, we like to think it's a very new project. Um, it started basically from uh, Dan and I uh, spending uh, many hours at Crufts talking to, I suppose we call doggy people. Yeah, right? collectors, yeah. Uh, breed, exactly. Breed, breed collectors. And, and what, we, what we discovered really is that there is definitely a market out there for, for us going into more breeds again. Oh, and, yeah. And I, th and I think yeah. over the last several years, you know, it might seem that, uh, that we, we only want to follow certain sorts of breeds and types yeah. of breeds, but that's not always been the case, Yeah, for me as well, it's all on a personal level, it's nice to do some, you know, different breeds. Different breeds. You know, it so, keeps the skills up, really. Uh, absolutely, no, but also, what we also want to do is tie in uh, something slightly different. So in other words, it's still a doggy person, but we wanted to, we wanted to, to maybe evolve it a little bit. And, so, and, 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 and with that, we felt that we needed to increase the scale a little yeah. bit so we could get more of the character yeah, in the dog yeah. in the anthropomorphic yeah. but look at the cost of the piece now the problem is of course if you go uh, larger scale uh, with a complete uh, body with it comes the cost yeah it defeats your object as well because you're, yeah. you're just increasing your problem size really, uh, absolutely you know, so. absolutely so what we felt is we felt we'd do a range and begin a range of, of busts now with that we felt that not busts just up to the top of the shoulder, with a bit of the arms, we felt that we could bring enough character into the piece to tell the same sort of story that the doggy people do, albeit at a larger scale, and as Mike pointed out, um, at a more doable uh, pace, because if, yeah. if Mike was having to do the whole dog, the yeah. cost would go up, the painting cost would go up, manufacturing yeah. cost would go up, yeah. and ultimately the cost of the, the customer would go up. Yeah. Anyway, what I'm gonna do, this is, is, is honing on, I suppose, piece number one. Uh, now, obviously, as many of you have seen, I, I demonstrated a roughed-up version of a Boston Terrier. Now, I haven't finished that piece here. If you'd like to just lift it up, Mike, that's still I need still need to finish it. But what that did really, really, is it is it it gave us a scale to work at, and also Mike, who is going to be doing the predominantly than all of the busts. Uh, an idea of, of scale and scope, and also something we're happy with. Yeah, because they, they are they are smaller dogs. That's right. Um, but what we didn't want to do, we uh, we didn't want to um, go too small. No. And say, for example, in the future, you wanted to do something like a mastiff. We've sort of got to sort of work the problems out earlier on. That's right. Uh, we we can't go too big with the mastiff, and no. obviously we can't go too small with, uh, right. with the pug because it will defeat the object. That's and get right. The character basically. Which explains why we've got an unfinished example there, even though it's a first one, isn't so that Mike could actually full steam ahead with another piece. Now, yeah. as you can see, we actually haven't decided yet no. how to mount it. No. There are so many possibilities yeah. of busts. But the most important and key aspect we want to do is is get that character in the dog. And the scale. And the scale. Yeah. Now, yeah, Mike, if you just like this, put the boss interior down there, matey. Let's have a look at this pug. Now, pugs, tremendous little characters. And what we felt felt with a pug, we wanted to get that, that happy balance of, of quality of sculpt and subject matter. So what we've really done well, we feel we've done is we've done him as rather a little pirate. So I'm going to come in straight in there. There you go. And if Mike turns it around, I think this is a cracking little figure. He is a pug pirate. We've also um, used the traditional way of finishing off busts at the back, where it's not completely formed all the way at the back. In other words, it's almost like the figure has been hewn out of rock, so to speak. And we felt that because even though we've done a couple of busts in the past, we we, we, we didn't want to continue and add to that. We wanted to bring it be a yeah, completely we, new project. I think we wanted to give us like a unique identity really yes, as well, you know. Absolutely. But also, I mean you can see straight from the outset that that is definitely a doggy person. It's yeah. it's a very it's a classic Harab uh, style of design that we, we can continue. And it's I think all it's, a I think it's with dogs, especially, you know, pugs. 
It's uh, it's about the the head, neck, and shoulder relationship. Really, That's right. you've got to, you've got to get that. You've got to get that connection. I, th- I, right. I think even if even when you went with the the whole anthropomorphic studies, if the head doesn't look right, it doesn't really matter. That, no. you know people aren't interested in it. And I think going back to Crufts again, uh, when I know that I know that Dan and I, when we were just literally almost being accosted by people saying, "Can we have that breed? Can we have that?" Well, of course, yeah. we haven't got it. You know, the majority of the people were even saying, well, could we have our dog's head on this body? Yeah. And what that says to us really is, you know, please just represent yeah. our breed. Yeah. And so, you know, we felt that this format allows us, in fact, to become uh, the ambassadors of a dog community yeah. rather than just doing uh, certain breeds that, that commercially do very well. Yeah. And I think that from that scope, you know, it, it should work. I say, I think we've had a good start. We yeah. haven't finished yet, and we will no. show you folks where we go from there. But yeah, Mike, if you'd like to put that down, we're also working on a, on a, this is a Labrador that Mike's just started, really. Just to demonstrate the, uh, you know, we are going north, south, east, and west with that subject matter. It's, it's very early on in, so, you know, it's nowhere near as refined as the pug sculpt you've just seen, but you know, it certainly, certainly sort of uh, works right from yeah, the off. Yeah, this is going to be uh, Labrador, uh, Errol Flynn's Errol, character from, from yeah. uh, uh, Robin Hood. And uh, yeah, we want to sort of just like it's so early on in, but just sort of trying to nail the scale, basically. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, think, I think this one works brilliantly. Now, many of you might think, well, what other breeds are we planning on doing? Well, we have got a list. We have thought about it really, really uh, long and hard. We're certainly going to be doing a bulldog within the, and the bull terrier within the next yeah. three pieces. Yeah. But what we felt, what we felt, is that we wanted to do some, uh, maybe some, some other breeds first, just yeah. to give the uh, the idea balance yeah. and discussion. Yeah. Uh, before we do, I say obvious breeds, the two major powerhouse breeds, which obviously the bulldog and yeah, bull, we thought about doing terrier. the dachshund, which we've done before with we're the going to be uh, doing Baron. Da- yeah, we're going to be doing a new dachshund. We're definitely going to be doing a new schnauzer. Uh, and another piece we haven't done for a long while, another breed, is definitely the Bloodhound. He's definitely on the card. Yeah. You know, and the diversity is the, is the key. We really, really do want to to uh, have many people who represent many different breeds, almost demanding yeah. that we do their piece. Yeah, because there are some really good, interesting dogs out there, you know, so yeah. your heads. Yeah. That's, I, that's what, what I would like to sort of uh, yeah. develop, definitely. Yeah. This is a very Crufts, a Crufts orientated range, certainly. And I don't think we'd have been quite doing this if it wasn't for the feedback we've had but early days this is the first film with the the, the new bus trains that we're working on and and, and we think we're going to grow it quite swiftly yeah, I hope so, yeah great stuff thank you thank you very much mike bye bye